everybody! Welcome back to Northern Lion Plays XCOM 2. Uh, I think we're just gonna shit and get off the pot and immediately do this next mission just to try to keep some pace on the aliens. I mean, we're already here, we don't need to fly. Um, we do have new units, like we're rolling with a second assault and our sniper, our like sharpshooter, is injured forever. For a long time, at least. Um, so we're gonna have a second assault. I've already spec'd out for this mission because I was recording a video and then the game crashed on the loading screen. So, um, we got Venom rounds on our assault and possibly, eh, let me go with like a mine shield as well. Could give them a frag to destroy cover, but, uh, they're probably gonna be up front and doing some, doing some damage. I think we're just gonna roll no healers and then for our, uh, for our sniper we'll give them a smoke grenade. And I think everybody else is pretty much decked out properly. No med kits. We have a mimic beacon. Let's launch it up. I expect that this will not be easy, but I don't know, because as soon as the Avenger touched down last time, the game said X XCOM 2 has stopped working, so who knows, man. I'm just gonna, you know, cross my fingers and hope for the best. So this is a kind of a new era for us, G-Funk stepped to this Idaria, but uh, we got two Grenadiers, which is awesome. But we have two assaults or two uh, rangers, which is unusual for us. It's basically like having two frag grenades that we can throw at enemies um, with their sword. But also the shotgun, super good up close, of course. Um, no healer and a sharpshooter that kind of sucks. So this one we actually have to place uh, X4 charges to destroy the alien facility. And we start concealed. It's a little bit more of a flat map as far as uh, terrain goes here too, so... Uh, I'm not sure if that's good or bad, but we don't really have a, a, a good enough sharpshooter to leverage it either way. Pablo Diaz, I'll tell you what, you finished this mission, you've, you've earned yourself a name, mister. I, I feel like the black site was probably scripted, uh, and these other alien facilities are maybe just a, a theme, if that makes sense. I don't know that for a fact, honestly, but um, I feel like maybe... The first black site was meant to be a little harder than the average mission at that point in the game. Let's put Diaz over here. He is going to be our sniper, even though he's probably not going to be particularly good at it. Um, oh, you know what? Let's expect the worst, but but hope for the best, I guess, is what I, I should say there. Um, just have you post up here. We can take as long as we need, so let's just take our time to perfect the beat and continue to have love for the streets. Um... So I'm hoping that this actually ends up being easier than I expect. And you know, our last retaliation mission, I botched it. So this is a chance for us to get a little bit of redemption. So we have concealment. One of the things that was so valuable for us in um, in the last mission, well, not the last mission, but the black site, was uh, popping concealment in a productive fashion. The way that we popped concealment really uh, enabled us to succeed on that mission. Okay, this is this is absolutely worth popping concealment for, if we can get our units into you know appropriate positions. So we have one shot. <laughs> yeah, do not miss your chance to blow and all that. Okay. You'll have a shot, but probably we might open with you dropping uh, it's affirmative. Uh, an acid grenade instead. Although the acid grenade might be better saved for units that actually uh, you won't have a shot anywhere, huh? Oh, maybe. No. Well, it's it's a little tricky. We could choose to pop concealment here. Instead, I'm not going to. I'm going to back our units off slightly. Oh, we didn't have to move our sharpshooter, but that's okay. I'm going to back our units off slightly. Like, you hunker. Maintaining position. You uh, get over here. Just, like, get out of line of sight. You get over here, Moving out. and then you know, hunker basically. Get get uh, get super low. In. That way we can actually pop, pop concealment properly next time. If they're looking this way, I don't think they'll seal me. Oh, there was what, the sectoid. He's deviated from the path. Okay, sectoids are not a huge challenge for us anymore. So I'm I'm not acting like this is some kind of incredible coup that we've got. If we move you here, you'll have a shot, but it's not going to be a great one. What's your... When concealed... When the squad is revealed, this officer remains concealed. Yeah. 
You only have a shot. Yeah, it's gonna be okay, maybe? What's your shot gonna be like here? Next turn, we're gonna be spotted anyway because of our unit. <laughs> didn't mean to say that. Um, didn't mean to say it like that, at least. Okay, put Sokolova over here. All right, so here's our first pod. We have to figure out the best way to pop them. Is it really a um, a frag or a rocket? I sort of feel not. Um, and it would save us a turn, but maybe it's better to weaken them. What about what about you, Zaitsev? Your percentages are really nice, as are the crits, and your frag won't quite reach anyway. So sure, maybe we have all day. AKA roll fizzle beef. Just shoot a little frag grenade in here. Everybody else on Overwatch gets ready to chew them up. Got it covered. Unless we can get Pablo Diaz to throw a frag. I don't think we can get close enough, so just go on Overwatch. Overwatch. Diaz is gonna level, by the way. I don't, I don't love your shot chances. You also get minus 20 because of Overwatch, I think. So actually, maybe you shoot the frag. You got a slightly better chance. You also carry two frags with you. Uh, it doesn't destroy that cover, though. So I don't think it forces them to go as far. So uh, I'll, I'll take the educated guess. And we'll go for the frag on, on this unit instead. Don't want to do the rocket just because I think the rocket might be more valuable later. So let's blow up this cover. I have a pretty good feeling about getting three units killed here. Not with that grenade by itself. That would be ridiculous. We probably need to hit each unit one other time. Maybe two on that sectoid uh, that has five left, depending on who gets it, but we'll see. This Viper's like, oh shit. How did we not see them? Beautiful. Just, just majestic. Okay, the Viper's dead. Great job so far. That's good. Unfortunately, this sectoid is like totally still alive, but maybe one of the overwatches didn't pop Please just summon a zombie or something don't take a shot Pablo Pablo no No, this is fine man, dude whether he summons a oh, he, he panicked Zaitsev. That's okay. Zaitsev just don't shoot anybody on our team Just hunker man Hey, sweet. Thanks for not popping another pod, by the way. That would have been, like, truly hellish, so I appreciate it. He's also reconcealed. <laughs> that's that's kind of funny, actually. As is Blitz, actually. Uh, we might as well not get the kill with her. Because if she gets the kill, she'll probably be unconcealed. Okay, so that sectoid's dead. Could have gone better. I'm actually very surprised we didn't get the kill on, the, uh, on that remaining sectoid. But, you know, I, I really feel like... Do we, do we move with Zaitsev after this, or is he still... No, he's panicked. Okay. Uh, just take a turn to reload. Again, why why not take our time here? But uh, I'm I'm surprised uh, that, it, that it went as badly as it did. We had three misses in there, I think, which is just... Even with 50% chances, which is only, I think, one of them was a 50% chance. The others should have been a little better, but... Um, slightly disappointed. Okay, everybody's good. Three aliens down. Three aliens down, and what have we spent on this? A frag grenade. As far as I'm concerned, spending a frag grenade is basically akin to spending nothing, so... Um, I feel like we are completely fine here. Uh, everybody should just reload, except for that one unit that I didn't reload, which is a stupid decision. So we will actually have you reload, and then everybody else will overwatch again. Because I am silly and an idiot. Okay! And now we know where the aliens are, at least, because we hunkered, or just stayed still long enough. She's the one they call Dr. Feelgood. She's the one that makes you feel all right. Really, though, she's not a medical doctor. She's just got a PhD in data analytics. She's the one they call Dr. Feelgood. Uh, we might as well get close, but stay below this kind of, like, half wall on the riverbank. Ooh. Suboptimal. Any chance? Oh, you got no hack. Oh, wait, 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 whoa, whoa, whoa. Haywire protocol. You may target robotic and mechanical enemies with your gremlin, attempting to hack them. Disabling security. Uh, 
I believe in you. Did we give her the skull jack? She's got a small chance. 60% chance! Temporarily disable this unit. That works better for me than going for the taking temporary control. Okay, good. Ooh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Even if that only takes uh, one turn, or if it only stuns it for one turn, do we, wait, 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 how long, how long? Shut down two, okay. Um, even if it only keeps it out of commission for two turns, that basically saved us a Mimic Beacon. Um, and we can just go buck wild on it, right? Like we could actually probably just take our turns to shoot it right now, which seems like really advisable. Well, it can't shoot us. It's not like it's going to break our concealment or anything. Heading to that location. Yeah, so that, I mean, I don't even know if that saved us, because we may still just be able to get the kill regardless, but that was a big move, potentially. I mean, it's got really good armor, so we probably should have shot with Fizzlebeat first. That's like the, the most consistent mistake I'm making, is not shooting with our unit that shreds armor first. Turns out in this unique situation, it wouldn't have mattered in the least, but uh, in in some situations it will. Still shut down for one turn. Let's see if maybe our sniper can pick up the kill? I know it's got a lot of armor, but this would be a nice chance to promote, maybe. Oh, oh, sweet, sweet child. Why do you hate me so much? There we go. Shredded the armor. Took it out of commission as well. A little bit overkill. Hey! Fizzle Beef with the promotion, though. With the promotion, though. Corner office, water cooler. Baby, you're the ruler of the shipping department. You can sniff my farts and I made it. Montego, baby, why don't we go to the shipping room? Could you please bring the Scanning. broom to it's, I think it's, you know, whatever. Probably, I mean, we could wait for a turn because uh, Fizzlebeef needs to reload. So actually, I think that that is a very defensible idea. I'm going to keep Dr. Feelgood over there. Not even outside, not even in cover, actually, which is very dumb. There's no reason she shouldn't at least be in cover. But uh, I want to move forward towards the facility, because we know there's units inside of it. We saw, like, when they revealed what the, uh... When they revealed what the, um... Objective was for us. They were like, hey, there's, like, an advent dude in here. So, we're gonna prepare ourselves for that. She's in an okay position to kind of help me surround the area. It is clear. Orders confirmed. On the move. Clothing Is that where you position. should be? Yeah, that's that's fine. Okay, and then... She's the one they call Dr. Field. Good. We're gonna send her all the way here. There we go. Okay, okay, okay. Keep it good. Keep it good. Keep it good. I know we have a concealed unit. We might want to... Concealed unit just sounds wrong to say. We might want to send them up there so that they can actually sneak around. Like, that should be our go-to unit to move first. Oh, well... <laughs> the shit's about to pop off. Hey, he actually landed a hit. Well, it was a dodge, but it, it hit nonetheless. Nice. Good job, team. So far, so good. I mean, it's probably a low percentage shot. Let's be honest. He is half man, half wall. You know, it's good that they popped on their turn. At least they don't get to actually do anything. Well, Jesus, we certainly destroyed enough cover. That's a good thing. Keep in mind, by the way, I do have a flashbang, but I'm going to save it for when the codex pops. So do we actually get a full turn? Is this our turn? Yes. I just want to make sure that I don't take a move, and then it's not actually our turn. It's the enemy turn. Um, so we have a 45% chance no matter what, or 41 if we shoot the pistol. So we'll definitely be open. Ah, you know what? We may want to use a smoke grenade if things go terribly wrong. I think it's pretty unlikely we want to use a mimic beacon here. These units are also not on Overwatch, right? So, um, if we're not going to use the Mimic Beacon, is there any chance for us to get a good Acid Grenade? I, I like this. Even though it does take away this unit's move, I do like this. 
because uh, shredding that armor is going to allow us to take out that shield bearer quickly enough that uh, it, it can't give them a huge advantage. Good stuff. Okay, so step two. Probably be, you know, throw you in cover somewhere. I, I, I worry that this advent car is about to explode. So let's not go there, um, girlfriend. And see if we got, we got better odds now? Not really. Monstar. Where's where's your secret? If I put you here, can you shoot through the opening? And we're gonna try this. Hopefully it doesn't backfire and pop another pod. But if so, we do have the mimic beacon to back up on. 100% on the officer, 84% on the shield bearer, 71 on the the heavy lancer. Oh, is that a new unit? Or at least a new name? I'm willing to stake the 16% chance here to kill a more valuable unit. And it didn't backfire on us. One day it may. But it won't be two day. So you can chop up that advanced officer to the point where he will probably die. It also doesn't put us in range of the acid, I think. Yeah, we're right here. We slash him through the window. The question then becomes, how do we kill this Lancer. And the, ba the basic answer is we just put Roll Fizzle right next to him and chop him the fuck up. So let's let's try that first to see if that works. Fizzle Beef, don't die. You've got uh, Rico Tanaka back at the back at the house. He's like, oh shit, there, you weren't supposed to get up here. That sounds like it hit. Grazed. Dude, that graze is nasty, but it did still shred the armor. So Dr. Feelgood can come up. 100, it was a 40% chance to crit. Finish the job, but we did have to play pretty aggressively there. Hopefully we're far enough away from the car that we don't get caught in an explosion. 100% with a 40 crit. I think we gotta take it. And this will put the the enemy in a... Um, in a lethal range of dying to the acid. Unless they only get hit for four, which is a big surprise to me. Pablo Diaz! Now's your time to reveal your usefulness. Although, what if I... Oh, you don't have a... Fr you do have a frag. Okay. Pablo Diaz. I'm going to send you up here. Moving to position. Well, you got to change that voice if you're going to stick around on this squad, buddy. Moving to position. So I could have you take a 71% chance. Or I could just throw this frag in here. And honestly, I'm not really in the business of... Uh, of letting my soldiers die. So if you want to pick up a quick promotion, just don't mess this throw up, Mickey Mantle. Well done. Now this car hopefully will not explode in our face. Okay. Our our ranger is on fire. That's not going to change. So we might as well just get used to it. Hey, there's two units in here. Roger that. She'll extinguish eventually. Conceal. Immediately enter concealment once permission. Mmm, this might be approaching a good time to use it. Okay, you know what? This car's already exploded. I don't think those advent troops are coming over here, so you might as well reload, I think. Why not enter con Immediately enter concealment. Why, why enter concealment now? We could enter concealment later. Back in. Everybody, take some time to reload. Copy that. Sing a song of six shots. Roger, holding. Now you actually... Oh, you can only go through the acid. I don't love that. If this car explodes again, I'm going to be real displeased. It's killing time. I might need some help. Dude, I can't put you out. There's no water nearby, so you're pretty much on your own. I, like I said, no water nearby. It does immediately extinguish it, but she's going to extinguish in a couple turns anyway. I really wish that last turn I had moved her to the water when she probably could have. Uh, but you know what? First, first things first, we're going to try to spot these advent here with Sokolova. Oh, Sokolova! They got a song for everybody in this game. 
That was supposed to be good loving. You know, good loving. Sokolova. You sort of, you sort of hear it, I'm sure. Don't tell me you don't. I don't believe you. Okay, let's try, let's try this. That might be an explosive barrel. Yeah, that's where we put the stuff. I know, Central. The Sokolova. Okay, you know what, David Ryan, you head over there. You're just gonna immediately enter concealment, which is not what I meant to do. <laughs> I meant to hunker, but I hit the button a little too quickly. Um, you know what, we're gonna put our other ranger next to you for emotional support. I hope you don't burn to death, that'd be real sad. I had, to, I had to push you, like, decently in here. Good that job. didn't come out right at all. We're fully reloaded, so I don't really mind uh, being a little bit more aggressive here. We also have these semi-flank shots through the window. Hey, that's good. Six damage to uh, a heavy lancer. Hard target. Minimal damage. Hopefully this encourages the pods to run in instead of staying in that elevator. This is not a bad pod at this point in the game. Okay, here come our... Prodigious uh, pods. That heavy lancer is so far back, unfortunately. She's like still fucking on fire, huh? No longer on fire! We did it! Okay, remember, they're not on Overwatch. So we can do guaranteed uh, damage with uh, combat protocol. Deals guaranteed damage. Does two guaranteed damage? Which is increased against robotic enemies. Why don't why don't we just try it? Why don't we just try it and, and see if we can murder this dude with the gremlin? That may also give us a shot still. Yo, that was dope. Nasty way to go. I also cracked one of your fucking windows on the way back. How do you feel about that? Not too smart, probably. So apparently that did use our action, but it's still like well worth it. Um, maybe we can save a mimic beacon for reinforcements. Come around for the dirty ass flank on this heavy lancer. That was beautiful. Now we only have a viper left. Now vipers are fairly likely to be grazed, unfortunately. Uh. But we can do two slices. We could also, instead of doing two slices, ju just get close and have maybe one slice and a shotgun, which is probably more advisable. 100% chance to hit. Yeah, okay, we'll take that instead. And loot for me? An Illyrium core. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a living. It's better than nothing. Assuming this doesn't pop a pod, we're just going to move into position. Now, there, remember, there will be reinforcements after we place this stuff, so... Oh, there's going to be reinforcements right now, actually. We might be able to plant the charges and then just book it. Wish we could just put, like, a proximity grenade underneath and That'd be hilarious. All right, so he's planning the charges. Is there an that evac point? Five. Status confirmed. X4 charges are armed. Move to the extraction point for immediate evac. Where is the extraction point? Certainly not there. Um. Yeah, no, I call Sky Ranger. Oh, we we set our own Sky Ranger. Place an evac zone for your soldiers. Yeah, like right here would be sweet. Requesting immediate evac. First, take a look at these guys. How are they getting in here? They're getting in here next turn. They're not gonna have a great shot. Yeah, just just book it, man. Location confirmed. I think we should be able to get out without uh, these guys getting in. So I, I would probably at this point just put everybody on the Sky Ranger. Not Sokolova. Not Sokolova. 
Double time. I think she'll be able to make it out easily. Pablo hey, Diaz hey, has, hey. has no reason to be on this mission. Um, basically wasted his time. Didn't do anything. Well, that's not true. He did throw one frag grenade. The frag grenade of truth. So it's a little bit of a bad practice probably to evac our soldiers before we know if the other ones are going to be okay. Especially because one of them has the mimic beacon. <laughs> but there's only two other soldiers remaining here. And they look like they're going to be able to get out pretty easily. If they get shot though, that's completely my bad. don't think they're gonna get shot though Running. they can't even go on overwatch on the first turn I think so there. we're relatively safe yeah just get out of here look I'm not happy that uh, our one unit got a little bit screwed there she ran through the fire she was next to the burning building which was also my snipers doing for that matter but uh, it is what it is there's another facility down so we'll lower the avatar project somewhat and uh, Barring story missions coming in the near future, probably focus on getting that uh, New Mexico facility down as quickly as possible. I think that one's actually worth three pips. Are you seeing this? Andre the monster Zaitsev cares about nothing except for the deaths of the alien and advent forces that have forced him to live in these horrible conditions. Successful shot percentage, 88.89. What about that first concealment situation where we missed like three overwatches. Zaitsev gets the MVP though. Definitely the LeBron James of this mission. So the Avatar project should tick down a little bit, but I'm not getting uh, I'm not getting ahead of myself. I'm just trying to make sure that we're being hyper vigilant about it. And the black site I was a little bit overly cautious about. I wanted to be a little bit more aggressive with this one. Just just so that we can get a little bit ahead, you know? I know I know a little bit about what happens. Uh, with respect to the ticking towards the advent or the avatar project, so I figured let's we'll slow our roll a little bit. Or to speed up our roll. Chain shot. Take a shot with an aim penalty of minus 15. If you hit, you take another shot, a shot on the target automatically. So kind of like a rapid fire. Your grenades have an increased radius of one tile and deal plus two damage. Uh, I don't necessarily think chain shot is better. I do like volatile mix. Uh, well, I like its analog from uh, XCOM Enemy Within. Danger zone or something like that. But let's try a chain shot. It's a bit of a gamble, but okay. And Diaz, you're going to be on long watch. Allows Overwatch to trigger with squad sight. We're going to try it at least. Lyrium core. The destruction of this facility Reduced avatar progress by one. Progress on the avatar is delayed. Avatar we don't have enough available soldiers to feel a full squad. That's pretty horrible news. We're getting thin on manpower, Commander. We should check with Resistance HQ for new recruits. In five days, we get a unit back, but uh, we can't actually re recruit a unit right now because we don't have enough supplies. We have to go to the black market. Um, well, I'll tell you what. Let's start. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do something I should have done a long time ago. Dun dun da dun 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 da dun 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 dun. What happens if you have a 30 character last name for Axis? Alright, you know what? She'll just take the last part. She could be Tanaka Fizzle. Whoa, I punched my mic. She could be Tanaka Fizzle. That's better than Tanaka Beef. Alright. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time. What are we going to do? That's a fantastic question.